what happens when you take a food loving fanatic out of the kitchen and into a beauty salon or when you take a fashion lifestyle beauty queen away from the mirror and into the pantry well you're about to find out on the very first episode of the cats and the bougie Today, Maria decided to take out none other than the gourmet bougie, not just out of the kitchen, but out of his shoes for a little feat, TLC. I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna take you to my world, I'm gonna make you lead, rub, no, grab, no, no, pull, no, no, rip, no, no. tear. No, did you see these? Yeah, those, those, those. you're gonna have to come more often for that okay. No, so that's not going to happen. Gourmet bougie was never ready. Let's hope Maria's prepared for what's about to happen. So what do we have here and why why is this happening? Okay, so basically we've got flour. Yes. A bit of salt. Actually no, I forgot the salt. Hang on. Okay, I have to find out about flour because there's like Cake flour and self raising flour and gram flour and I mean what's the difference between all these flowers? Uh, basically people just got fancy with flour is flour. Oh, okay. <laughs> no so, man. So the next time a recipe says self raising flour, I can just use cake flour? Look, no, you no. can actually use cake flour. Cake flour is basically cake wheat flour, they're doing a whole rebranding. Mm -hmm. So it's wheat inside because people want to be healthier. Okay. But essentially it's the same thing. Ten cake flour, my grandmother and great grandfather use. Okay. Same recipe I got by the way from here. Okay. But it's essentially the same. Self raising flour, the only difference is it's got baking powder inside. Okay. So you're gonna make your own. Quick little tip. If you don't have any, if you don't have any self raising flour at home, you can always just throw in one teaspoon of baking powder to one cup of cake wheat flour and then self raising flour. Yeah. Thank you, Lata. Yes. Why you say hi? Hi. I'm going into the flour. <laughs> Wait, but what is in this flour? Because it's brown stuff too. That's yeast. <laughs> I don't use your hands. Like, <laughs> like, I know I'm a guy, I've got practice. <laughs> wow. 
Mine and yours look exactly the same. Yeah, I'm sure. Yours is like a mess. Kind of like your love life. How's that going? Oh, so... <laughs> <laughs> Let the world know. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My love life is not a mess. My love life is um, is bland, like your bread. Oh, I'm sure. But when you're taking this long, warm, hot little roll and I shoving it in your mouth later, you're going <laughs> to say something else. which means that it helps to cleanse the skin, remove any sort of bacteria, and if there's any inflammation, it helps to soothe that. Okay? We're going to add lemon because lemon is an astringent. All right? Okay, so well, also, what yes, does that mean? It means that it's, it helps to remove the oil. Okay. okay? It's nothing in these products will harm your skin at all, and your milk is your soothing. Once a week. Once a week. Yeah, the other guys once a week. What 
What do you think about the bed baby? Well, so I still have stuff under my nails, which means that I'm going to have to go and see my manicurist uh, later today. I enjoyed it, it was fun. I don't generally get my hands dirty. Uh, will I make it again? Yes. You will. I will try. She likes being <laughs> ringed out.